which is an interesting point to raise regarding the army. Um, we're not talking about like your army of the Potomac here, right. obviously. So we're not talking about Irish, German, mm -hmm. native-born, Hungarian immigrants. We're right. talking about Southwesterners. Yes. And how does that change the dynamics of thinking about the Civil War, just kind of from a military's perspective that here you have New Mexican Hispanics mm -hmm. fighting alongside gold rush seeking Coloradians who are white in this conflict. Yeah, and I think that readers will be really surprised by the multiracial nature of this army of New mm -hmm. Mexico, the Union Army of New Mexico. Right. Um, because <clears throat> there were there were there were Hispano volunteers who were in the first New Mexico, which was being commanded by Kit Carson, who's another figure in the book. Um, there were these Colorado gold miners who were mustered in um, and in two different phases during the war. Um, there were also native scouts on the Union side from a number of different communities um, who were paid for sort of short-term work. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're used to, as Civil War historians, thinking about you know the biracial armies of the East after the Emancipation Proclamation right. and uh, the enlistment of African American soldiers into mm -hmm. the army. And I think some people have done some work on Native soldiers in the Trans Mississippi, mm -hmm. um, coming from yeah. Indian Territory, fighting on both sides. Um, and there were about 20,000 Native people engaged in the war, um, mostly in the Trans Mississippi West of the Eastern Theater. But what really interested me was how diverse this group of soldiers were. Um, they all had different motivations. Mm -hmm. The Hispano volunteers were quite often um, motivated by the defense of their homes, right. especially against Texans, with whom they had a very long and contentious history. Um, but then they, once the Texans were gone, many of them re-enlisted in order to fight Native peoples, who they also had a very long and contentious right. history right. with. So this army, it was a Civil War army, mm -hmm. um, but it also bore the legacies of all of the fights that had been going on in the Southwest before the war. 